Ladies and gentlemen, we're going to talk about Davos. As we well know, the World Economic Forum has been going on over in Davos, Switzerland. So we're going to talk about that. Is Davos losing its power, ladies and gentlemen? It's possible. That's tonight's topic on the report from Tiger Mountain. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, the Davos conference has been happening in Davos, Switzerland. And look, first of all, I want to say up front, some of my animus towards Davos has been for this one reason. Every year, I don't get an invite, ladies and gentlemen. I want to be there. I want to be there amongst Klaus Schwab, hanging out with George Soros, hanging out with the gang. You know, I just want to be welcomed into the globalist club. You know, and I think they could learn something from me. Don't they need a perspective on the new right? that's critiquing them all the time. Don't they need to sit down with someone? We can do it in private out the back as long as they fly me over in a private jet and put me up in a five-star hotel with prostitutes on tap, ladies and gentlemen. Then I'll come, then I'll come. So I think that's the way to go, ladies and gentlemen. I think there needs to be an open dialogue between the new right and the, P the School of Davos. They, it could be very productive for everybody. Maybe they're doing something wrong. Maybe they should talk to the new right. Maybe we know something about ruling the world that they don't. So anyway, that's just something thoughts on that, which is a little humorous, ladies and gentlemen, but has Davos been losing its power? We've all seen these videos of people getting doorstopped in Davos. Uh, people like Avi Yemeni has been over there, you know, he's got a lot of money, you know, uh, rebel media, uh, you know, all those Israelis have been flying him over there, so he's, 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 all, he's all part of the, the gang, hanging out there, he's, but he's been, he's been attacking them and, you know, asking them difficult questions. You saw that, uh, you know, the Israeli uh, head of Pfizer, uh, Baller, he, you know, he was getting, you know, asked a few difficult questions. Uh, you saw Greta get the door stopped, and Greta seemed to find it quite amusing, which is kind of actually, you know, kind of funny in itself. She seemed to find some of the questions she was being asked um, amusing. So it's very interesting to see, and even Klaus Schwab got, um, what's it called, door stopped by a kind of, I think it was an Asian journalist, I think it was from Japan, who was, I think, an independent journalist. So, you know, I mean, it's interesting, isn't it? And I get the impression um, that Davos is losing its power, that people have somehow intuited from, you know, the freedom movement, from the new right, from the old part of the left that doesn't like rich billionaires getting together uh, and flying in private jets. There's still a part of the left that doesn't like that, ladies and gentlemen. People have intuited that something kind of evil's going on in Davos, which of course is the truth. And, um, you know, I think people have intuited something dodgy's going on and, you know, people are mistrusting what they say. And they're seeing the kind of, you know, futurist, talk of someone like that Yuval Harari, that Israeli intellectual who's a kind of mentor to Klaus Schwab, you know, who thinks human beings are hackable and, you know, and, you know, he's got a very horrible anti-human kind of beliefs, anti-freedom kind of beliefs. People are very suspicious of all this. I mean, someone like, your, you know, Yuval Harari is almost an own goal. Every time that guy opens his mouth, it's like more people rush to our side of politics because they're just so disgusted by the bullshit that that guy's got to say. So I think people are suspicious. People are suspicious of celebrities like Bono and, you know, people like this who fly in. And then there's John Kerry flying in as well to, you know, he's like the climate change czar for America to, you know, again, you know, limit your economic development, in, in not only in, in, in Western countries, um, you know, that are in financial trouble, but also in countries that are so poor, it's ridiculous, where any kind of um, economic, um, you know, uh, uh, help would be greatly appreciated. So again, people see this is all about control. People see it's all about keeping people poor, making the rich richer, and making the poor poorer. And how can any legitimate um, left winger go along with that? You know, ladies and gentlemen. And also, how can any decent right winger support this kind of insane, um, you know, uh, elite uh, globalist elite? So you know, even libertarians, I think, have to question some of their own beliefs if they seem, you know, if they do see some of the people who attend this kind of thing as being just in powered libertarians or something. So I think it's a huge problem and I think the world is waking up to reject the World Economic Forum and the Conference at Davos. So I think that's very interesting. So that's what I think tonight on the report from Tucker Mountain.